What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Godzilla Star Monsters Melee playthrough. Um, last time we did Godzilla 2000, and I didn't even know it at some point so during the final encounter with Godzilla 2, my game capture software just stopped, stopped working, but I did manage to beat him on my last life, so I'm just sad that you guys didn't get to see that, but doing that we unlocked so uh, Destroyer, so might as well go through, go ahead. Give Destroyer a shot here, I think. I think we'll do Destroyer, and then maybe... Maybe King Ghidorah next time. I don't know. I'm kind of excited for King Ghidorah. But hopefully this won't take as long. Maybe this one won't crash. I don't know why it stopped working. You can blame Hapod. Just because they're, apparently their stuff is horrible all the time. There we go, right up the gate. And Gyrus is slaying with the building strategy. I don't know why I never look at the other monster. I'm pretty sure Destroyer is like really broken in this game. I'm pretty sure. He seems to be pretty pretty OP right now. Just pop that baby off real quick. Where did they even get the inspiration for that attack? Like, when did Destroyer ever do anything remotely close to that in any any point in the film? There's another one? Jeez. Tactical Luke and Bell. There it is. Rip. Rip in peace, Angiris. And these stupid-ass, like, bomb things. Like, where, where is that from? Oh, come on now. You're looking right at him. Just, there we go. Cut him in half. Just cut him right in half. That was the easiest fight I've ever had. <sighs> Please be. Oh, it's nighttime again. And it's Rodan again? Literally. Uh, I fought Rodan on Monster Island last. Are you serious? How did I- oh, what? Hello, get up. Home run. I just jumped over you. Do you see how, how, how very small of a monster I am? Dude, hit him, come on. He's right there. I wanted to pick up that rock, but thanks for thanks for trying. What? Uh, oh my god, lock-on systems are the worst. Rip. What? You can move with the D-pad in this game? Why would you ever want to play with the D-pad? <sighs> this is going way faster than last time already. Maybe with the unblockable horn attack, Mechagodzilla 2 won't even stand a chance. Oh, night time. Against Lord Ghidorah. Of course, I should have backed up. Whoa, Destroyer's got some freaking long toenails in this game. Like, they're not that long. Those freaking bomb things, man. Oh no! I ran out of horn right before. No, 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 no! Are you serious? Rest in peace, my progress. Oh, get me away from this wall. He's rolling toward. No, jeez. Roll game on point. What? How can they just snag me out of the air, like, so effectively? Alright, let's see if I can get some extra damage here with this before I use it. Let me... let me pop it off. There we go. Almost ran out of time. I 
feel like destroyers automatically oh, regen faster too. Either that or it just takes way less to use any of his abilities compared to Godzilla. Uh, no, that health just respawn. No! This shouldn't be close, but because of him getting that, Ghidorah getting that health pack thing, that's the only reason it's gonna be close. There we go. That horn is too good. The horn attack, way too good. Mothra is still trying to kill me in the background. Good one. That's funny. <sighs> I'm getting tired, man. Megalon at, at night. Buildings already right up the gate. Oh yeah, that's right. Destroyer's beam has zero range. For whatever reason, they thought that was a good idea. That detonated, which means it was within range of him, but it didn't do anything. No! on him too and didn't do anything again. Megalon's beam does so much damage. I just cut his head off, and he just casually, you know... I'm gonna die from him picking me up. This is... Oh, it's tied to his energy? As long as he has energy, he can do this bullshit? That explains so much. Wow, okay. Alright, I'll try to keep that in mind for the next time I fight him. I didn't know that it was tied to his, um... His energy pool is how how it determine how long he can stay underground. I really don't like that he can do that, go underground like that, because that's just a pain to fight. You have just have to wait for him to come up. Because as far as I know, there's no way to damage him when he's Monsters. under the ground still. Fight. I would jump right into a fucking wall, wouldn't I? Oh, man. Dude, if I can get that energy out of this, that would be great. That was such a good sidestep. How did he still get me? Oh, my. Turn around, you f oh. Need to get the tactical nuke. There we go. Tactical nuke inbound. Let me use it. There we go. 
not a cheap way to win at all. That's just, I mean, those bombs are just such a useful tool to hit people when they're on the ground, especially when they're close to dead and you just need to get a couple hits on them to kill them. That's the way to do it right there, I'm not gonna lie. Godzilla 90. It's a Godzilla! Fight. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna go straight into beam, there we go. Let's see if that gets him. Nope. Is there not something I is there something I don't understand about like the quick attacks in this game? Because I can never hit them with mine. There's gotta be something that I'm still missing. I don't understand what it is though. Escape! Escape! That was a solid dodge. Why would that blow up if he's stationary? Running for all the nukes. That would do some damage. What, so because he's on the other side of the building, the bomb just doesn't do anything at that point? That was lucky, I'm not gonna lie. That was very, very lucky. <sighs> That's a victory, at least. These fights are getting like closer and closer as it moves on. How many more do I have to go? Shouldn't I have a, shouldn't I have fought Destroyer with Godzilla 2000? Isn't that how that works? Who knows? That was lucky. There's another one of those for you. Bye. I guess I don't remember. One of his beams, it takes all three to do a stagger, and he hit me with one, and I get staggered. Get over there. Oh, oh, oh my... Just use it. Do yourself a favor and just use it. Oh my god. He didn't use it again. Is that kicking it around something he has using? Is that a health right there? Nukes! That's how you do it. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a pro destroyer player. Are we at Mecha G yet? I don't think there's anybody else. Nope, oh, we're at Mecha G. I swear, if he can just block my horn attacks, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. There's just something so funny about Mechagodzilla's model in this game. I don't I don't know what it is. Off to a fan oh, off to a fantastic start where he can just not get hit by that. I don't think I have enough energy for this. Oh, yes I do. Oh my gosh. Get a kick, get a kick. He's he's got his arms to his side and you're telling me that he can block. Holy shit. 
I want that to be an under jab. I guess to run for a health or something. I don't care, as long as I can get my energy back up. Ah, oh, first try! Unbelievable. Got him. Wow, that was like record time. Unbelievable. A new city has been unlocked. You don't unlock anybody. You don't unlock another kaiju for playing as destroyer? What? You seriously don't? Hell yeah. That's the fastest one yet. 1204. One second faster than Megalon. One second faster than Megalon. There's my Godzilla time frame. Uh, my Millennium one was 20 minutes and 49 seconds. I think my recording software just straight up died because it was taking so long to record that. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, up next is probably going to be King Ghidorah. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, I appreciate it a lot. As always, liking, commenting, and sharing really helps out my channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on the latest kaiju news and crisp reviews.